going on vlog. We're out here I'm about to watch this movie. What's the movie called? It is called Asteroid City. And I'm dressed like I'm ready to be in it. Alright. Yeah. No, we have to we're going to this event. So now check out my fit first because you gotta prove. Hold on. Get a cinematic slow-mo pan with some music no, over it. Q right doing now. That. Uh, wait, that's not enough time. You need more. You need more of the fit. This is crazy. Uh, welcome. How's it going? Take some pictures as an upstairs experience as well. Can you guys have people trying to take a picture with the house? You can, yes or no? Okay, yeah, we might. Thank you. Yeah. All right. MTV crew, welcome to my house. Uh, it's a little bright, so I'm going to close the curtains. Yeah, there's a lot of neighbors, loud neighbors out here. Nah, the rent is too much. We can't live here. We can't live there. The rent at Astro City is too crazy. That's a fit. She got a fit on. She's ready to go. That's really close. So, okay, vlog. He's a uh, debriefing. I'm debriefing you as to what we're about to do. Now, what we're about to do is we're gonna go and do some drinks and free snacks. Okay. So we're in Astro City. Movie premiere. So here, what's your favorite Wes Anderson film? My favorite Wes Anderson film, well, we're gonna find out if I have any at all after I watch this one, so. Oh, dang. What is this? It's pretzel. Prop oh pretzel. Oh my god. Someone's gonna see this vlog, and she's gonna love that I have this in my hand. Asteroid City, this is the food. Maybe I'm gonna come back. Take a look. <laughs> This is my first drink, and she's looking kind of cute already. Oh my I ain't even gonna lie to you, bro. Announcements make. I'm not a scientist. I don't have an announcement, I'm sorry. You don't have Sorry for wasting your time. Thank you, thank you. No, you're so kind. Thank you. No, you don't have to. I just wanted to say... Each year we celebrate Asteroid Day. Commemorating September 23rd, 3007 that, um, BC, when the arid plains meteorite. I'm starting to feel this wine. You do a photo with me? Sure. This is a great quality camera. Thank you. Chapter two. Like Old dancer. Oh, really? We're going to talk about your fit. Tell me, uh, where did you get your fit from? This is Banana Republic. Banana Republic, okay. Yeah. How, how much the fit cost? How much there? Because this is one piece, right? One piece? Uh, this together, the shoe is like 500. 500, okay. Yeah. How much? Uh, how much are the shoes though? The shoes. Is, where, where, uh, where are they from? Where are they from? The shoes is Mark Nolan. Okay, okay. These are about, sounds expensive. About 200. 200. Yeah. All right. How much? How much for the shades? How much for the shades? Oh, these are from Amazon. These okay. are like 15. Good, right? Well, honestly, the statement piece is the camera. How much the camera? Oh, this is you know Fuji. This is the older version, but this uh, you can get for like a thousand. A thousand. Yeah. I see. Price is priceless. That's why we mark those. It's priceless. What's your name? Leo. Leo. All right. My name is Vic. Nice to meet you, brother. All right. Oh, one more. One more. Rate my fit. One, on a scale of one to ten. Side, so it matches. I'll give it a good seven and a half. Seven and a half? Yeah. Okay. It's pretty light. It's really comfortable. Yeah. No, yours is ten out of ten. <laughs> the reason I went up to because it was the best one. All right. My man. Yeah. All right. Wait, whoa. What is, what is the sauce? Uh, a little uh, honey. All right. A little honey? I see. It's, it's different. There's a lot of honey. I, I like your videos in Instagram. Huh? You want to Yes. Oh, dang. What's your name? Jensen. Victor. Do you like his videos? Oh, Scar. He's a really good dancer. Yeah. Don't, don't hype me up. Don't hype me up. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate it. All right. Style tip 101. If you don't have a toothpick, find anything that looks like a toothpick. See, this looks like a toothpick, so what we're going to do is we're going to break it off. Oh, my gosh. And now, we're ready to go. See, now we're in business. Got how did you, you feel about getting your face 7 out of 10? Well, yeah, that was kind of like, that was kind of hard. I ain't gonna cap. Hey, gotta be honest here. You gotta be honest. Hey, it's, I, I did come here to show, it's, it's pretty chill. This is a pretty chill thing. Q Kendra, come on. Dun, dun, dun. Jump in that. Sim in that. I gotta finish this before. I'm only like halfway through. finished watching Asteroid City. I thought it was very artsy. I thought there was a lot of cool moments. I didn't know what the heck happened. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I want to know what the, 
the message of the movie was. I think you laughed a little bit though. You had fun and then you just kind of got bored. To be honest. The acting was really good. Yeah, I think the acting's great. I just want to know what the story was about and I had a hard time. The cinematography was great. Oh, the cinematography was amazing. So if you were to give it a, uh, a rating out of 1 to 10, what would you give it? 3 out of 10. <laughs> <laughs> I think we should go watch Spider-Man again. Oh my gosh. Into no. the Spider-Verse. That's a 10 out of 10. 7.5 out of 10. You already maybe. said it was a 9 out of 10 on your story, so that's a lot. What? No, no, I'm talking about this film. Oh, what was a good moment? I thought it was a lot of like funny, like the alien popping up. That no, was, that was that funny. Was funny. But that's not enough for 7.5 out of 10. I wouldn't watch that again. I, maybe I'd watch it again to try to understand what the heck What's happened. What's another movie you gave 3 out of 10? I've never gave anything a 3 out of 10. <laughs>